Today is the grand finale of the 20th edition of the Absa Cape Epic. The world's premier mountain bike stage race is coming to a spectacular conclusion. This eight-day stage race traverses the beautiful Western Cape of South Africa, covering 605 rugged kilometers with more than 16,000 meters of climbing. The pro category, including Olympic and world champions, are gunning for a win. And for the aspiring amateurs, just to complete this challenging course is a huge accolade. This is the race that measures all. Traditionally, day eight, stage seven is slightly easier than previous days, but this year, there is no easy ride. At 67 kilometers with 2,000 meters of climbing, the course is mostly in the Yonkersuk Valley. The riders loop out of the iconic wine region of Stellenbosch and are quickly rewarded with some of the world-renowned trails like Armageddon and Red Phoenix. There is climb after climb with a mix of dual and single track before the most iconic trail of the day. It's the Toyota Tough section known as G-Spot. On the start line for the last time is Buff Megamo, Hans Becking and European Marathon Champion Wout Allemann. In second is World Bicycle Relief, 2016 Olympic Champion Nino Schurter and Sebastian Finney. And just over nine minutes in the lead is Toyota Specialized 91. Defending Champion Matt Beers and 2018 Cape Epic winner Howard Grotz in the yellow leader's jersey. The gun goes and there is tension in the air for the elite men. It's the last chance for the contenders in the general classification and the teams that have not performed this year will be all in for a stage win. This is the Absa Cape Epic and anything can happen. The weather is cool, the terrain is rough and it's going to be a blistering race. With almost 23 hours of intense racing in their legs and heads, concentration is imperative. The yellow leaders have over nine minutes on second in the GC. But the gap between World Bicycle Relief in second and Buff Megamine third is just 1 minute and 11 seconds. This year's Bulls Mavericks with 2016 Cape Epic winner Urs Huber and 2021 stage winner Simon Schneller make a break on the first major climb. Toyota Specialized 91 and Buff Megamo stay with them. Scherter and Finney are some of the best bike handlers in the business and their descent of Armageddon and Red Phoenix are a pleasure to watch. Schurter regularly trains here and knows these trails like the back of his hand. The Bulls drop Toyota Specialized and buff Megamo after an hour and a half's racing. It's a bold move from the Swiss-German duo at this early stage. They're currently in 16th place in the GC, so Yellow let them go. The rough Jonkershoek trails are fraught with dangers. Toyota Specialized are very aware of the risks. So much so that Beers and Grotz are running tires with greater puncture resistance today. They are not taking any chances. At the 48 kilometer mark, Bulls Mavericks are managing to make the brakes stick. The elastic has snapped and they're on their own, willing the finish to be closer. Two and a half hours into the race, the chase group emerged from the Element Trail. It's the Italian team of Ravenstein and Poro from William Vittoria who have taken the lead from Toyota Specialized 91. They're now two minutes off the Bulls Mavericks. William Vittoria put the hammer down and hunt the Bulls Mavericks for the prestigious stage win. The most famous section of the race is known as G-Spot. This is the rider's reward for eight days of racing. It lifts the spirits and gets them to the finish. 12-time Cape Epic finisher Urs Huber and 5-time finisher Simon Schneller from Bulls Mavericks cross the line and take their first win of the 2024 APSA Cape Epic. Two minutes, 16 seconds later, William Victoria Factory arrive at the finish line to take second and in third today, just over three minutes after the winners, are Toyota Specialized 91. This secures Howard Grotz and Matt Beers the overall classification win of the 2024 APSA Cape Epic. The podium sees Toyota Specialized 91 in third, William Victoria Factory in second and the winner of the grand finale are Simon Schneller and Urs Huber from Bulls Mavericks. The overall general classification for the eight days sees Baf Megamo, Hans Becking and Bart Alleman in third, World Bicycle Relief, Nino Schurter and Sebastian Finney in second, and the winners are Toyota Specialized 91. For Matt Beers, it's his third, and for Howard Grotz, his second win. On the start line of the Aramex women's category, in third is Toyota Specialized 91, Sofia Gomez Viafan and Samara Shepard. In second is Canadel Factory Racing, Mona Mittervalna and Candice Lill. And by just 3 minutes and 51 seconds in the orange leaders jerseys is Ghost Factory Racing, Anna Terpstra and Nicole Kohler. The gun goes for the final time in the 2024 Cape Epic. This year's course has been relentless. 
Tilbach and Witzenberg valleys offered brutal temperatures but also spectacular trails. Now the temperature has dropped and the awaiting trails are some of the best in the world. Efficient Infinity SCP SRAM have had a mixed race this year. Defending champion Vera Lossa and Alexa Skada want to stamp their mark on this final day. Early in the Yonkersuk trails they make a break and do everything they can to make it stick, but after 45 minutes they are reeled in by Ghost and Cannadale. Current World Marathon Champion 22-year-old Mittervalna from Cannadale is not on her finest form today. Teammate Lil sits on the front of the group and tries to slow the pace, giving her time to recover. It's just not their day. At the 45km mark near Yonkersuk Gate, Ghost take the opportunity to make a break for the finish and go for the final stage win. Mittervalna can't keep the wheel and Cannadale must come to terms with not being able to challenge for the lead. Ghost crossed the line in just over three and a half hours to take their eighth win, a clean sweep for Terpstra and Kohler. Almost five minutes later, Cannadale limp across the line in second and today's third is Efficient Infinity SCB SRAM. The podium for the final stage seven sees Efficient Infinity SCB SRAM in third, Cannondale Factory Racing in second and Ghost take the win on this prestigious final stage. The Aramex overall general classification sees Toyota Specialized 91, Sofia Gomez Viafan and Samara Shepard in third, Cannondale Factory Racing, Mona Mitavalna and Candace Lil in second and after almost 31 hours of racing, Ghost Factory Racing and Terpstra and Nicole Kohler take the win in their first ever APSA Cape Epic. <laughs>